you know, body language is everything, isn't it? And I can tell you one thing, you know, two women fought. One woman thinks she won the fight, and the other one probably feels like she didn't win. And I bet you you guys can tell me who you think won the fight and who you think believes they won the fight. Stay tuned. The coach is going to break this fight now. Get what you think, because this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, because the truth is hard to handle. Pot, corn, pot, corn, pot, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment, and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. Way that is. All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay. Alaska Fighting Championships. That's right. Alaska. Alaska. Alaska has a fighting championship. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I enjoyed this fight, okay? You got you got um, Mara Tanares versus Holly Salazar. This is a good fight, man. It was a good fight, and I enjoyed every microsecond of the fight. Uh, round one, I gave it to Mara. And if you guys know who Mara is, Mara is the training partner of Rachel Ostevich. They train together at, um, I want to say, Lord is the Jesus is Lord Jim. And guys, forgive me if I'm getting some of the pieces wrong, but you know, you guys know where I'm coming from and how I'm explaining this fight. But uh, you know, Mara trains there with uh, Rachel Ostovich, and you know, this fight was good. I gave round one to Mara. Mara controlled most of the action from the ground. Um, you can definitely see that the striking advantage was going to Holly Salazar. You can see definitely that the level of striking between Holly and Mara is night and day. Uh, Mara definitely can't strike with Holly, but Mara can definitely roll on the ground with anybody. And she managed to slip up under Holly's strikes. She managed to do so, and, uh, you know, she got uh, Holly to the ground, and she controlled Holly on the ground. Got some very good ground and pound going. Um, can, kept control of Holly's hips, so Holly couldn't get up. Like, once Holly was on her back, that was it. She was done. I just couldn't rotate out of it. And I gave round one completely to Mara. Now we go to round two. Holly Salazar made adjustments. She made very, very good adjustments, and she began to stuff the takedown attempts of uh, Mara Tanaris, which it kind of proved like really good for Holly because Mara didn't have the striking to actually deal with Holly. She had the heart, but she couldn't stand up with Holly. And you can definitely tell because Mara was doing like this little like jab, and then she'll tuck her head under. To avoid damage and then she'll throw the jab you know turn her head away and then back up well holly salazar started cutting off the octagon when she realized that mara couldn't strike with her she cut off the octagon and you know holly started to pour on the offense um i like the punch variation of holly salazar uh she threw a lot of hooks a lot of hooks and uh you know she definitely did a lot of uppercuts and i don't see many women do uppercuts in mma so it was really refreshing to see Holly throw a lot of uppercuts. And I was like, yeah, this is good. Uh, Mara just, she couldn't do anything. So what Mara began to do, now Mara had very good head movement. I mean, she had great head movement. And she was avoiding a lot of the punches by Holly Salazar. But she just didn't have the offense standing to actually make Holly Salazar pay for some of those misses. And I think when Mara's you know, her stand-up game evolved, I think that she can actually capitalize on her defense. Her defense was pretty good. I was pretty pleased with Mara's defense overall. Um, it's just she didn't have any counter-punching ability to come back. So I was kind of like, oh, man, you know, this fight, you know, it can definitely be, you know, even better. Mara landed one good counter. It was a counter-spinning back fist, man. That thing was beautiful. And uh, Holly Salazar wasn't even expecting it. It just came out of nowhere. But uh, it landed. And so that was a high point in round two for Mara, but that was about it. It was all Holly Salazar. Um, Holly Salazar just, you know, started cutting off the octagon and just, I mean, she threw everything but the kitchen sink at uh, Mara Tanaris. And, uh, you know, Mara started covering up. You know, the referee, he was already looking like he was about to stop this fight. And then uh, Mara bought herself some more time. She, uh, you know, grabbed on to Holly and she got a take now. And it was looking good, but then, you know, Holly Salazar reversed that takedown, and she basically had Mara's back, and she was just beating Mara in the back of the, well, not in the back of the head, but on the side of the head. 
then Mara was able to get back to her feet, you know, and then, you know, after that, she backed up into a corner, Holly Salazar did, and basically that was it, she just started whooping on Mara's ass, and, uh, you know, Mara kind of, you know, tried to hold on, she had a heart, and, um, it's just the ref had to stop it, man, because Mara could have got hurt, and I'm glad she didn't get seriously hurt, but, you know, after the fight was over, Mara was still on the ground, part of that too, part of this fight, Mara lost because of her stamina, her stamina just, it got the best of her, and when you rolling around like that on the ground, trying to make your opponent get into a position, it takes a lot out of you, and, and Mara's stamina definitely went down to zero, her gas tank was empty, man, but it was a good fight, I saw a lot of good things from both of these fighters, um, I think Holly definitely, uh, definitely needs to work more on the ground, she was good, she was pretty good on the ground, but Amara was, you can definitely see that Amara was much, much better on the ground. And Amara definitely needs to work her stand-up. Uh, she's going to have to have that in order to compete against some of these women that you know, can stuff your takedowns. But um, definitely, I want to see these two fight again. I don't want to see these two fight each other uh, immediately right away. I want to see them fight other people and then see how they do. But uh, this was a good fight, man. Shout out to uh, Holly Salazar for a second round TKO. Of Barn Tanaris. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.